I think this is a pretty appropriate place to film this video because I've been down in the dumps for a while and this is apparently like a makeshift dump here in Saigon. This is here in uh, Bintan district. It's rather disgusting. It doesn't smell very good, but yeah, it is kind of symbolic of where I've been in my life for the past several weeks, really. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's been going on with me and just kind of tell you where I'm at right now. So Trey and I had a breakup, um, which is always tough for me. Um, well, always tough for me. It's not like it happens all the time. It has happened a few times throughout our four year relationship, but we did have a breakup. Um, we had some relationship issues and that was tough. And that, that just kind of sent me into like a obvious state of sadness. Um, but yeah, um, then kind of after that, unluckily, I got dengue fever. And at the same time I got dengue fever, I got food poisoning. So two of those illnesses right on top of each other, which is just tough. Uh, I was running like 105 degree fever uh, which is like 40 and a half degree Celsius fever. So I had to be hospitalized for about a week. And then after that week long hospitalization, there was like another week, week and a half of like still recovery fully from that illness. So you had, you had breakup, you had me emotionally broken from that and then straight into really bad physical illness. So physically and emotionally broken for a long time. And you know, it's, it's a little bit too long and it's to some extent, you know, I think um, I probably could have still shown up as a professional uh, in a lot of ways, um, but I just wasn't ready. I was, down in the dumps. Life's not always easy here in, uh, you know, halfway across the world. We don't have your family with you. Um, some of your close friends. I, I do have some really good close friends with me here and I've, I've leaned on those relationships a little bit. But when I'm going through those kind of like really depressed states, it's really hard for me to reach out and it's hard for me to to ask people for help or to yeah to reach out and say I need help or I need to talk or you know I, I'm sad and something's not right so you know I think that's obviously something important to do but Sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do in the world. So, you know, I guess that's somewhat normal, but hopefully if there's some sort of lesson that you take from the video, or hopefully if there's something you can gather from this, it's that, you know, when you're in those really sad states or when you're in those really depressed states, reaching out for a friend or reaching out to your family can be very helpful. Talking to my dad and my mom, that was very helpful for me to get through what was a very tough time for me. So, Trang and I did break up for a while. Uh, recently, we've decided to try to make it work. So, we're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna take it one step at a time. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a relationship we do wanna try to salvage. You know, it's been a long time, so we want to, yeah, try to make that work. Um, physically though, I, I'm better. 
I'm I'm fine. Um, probably need to lose a couple, a couple lbs, get back at the gym. Um, but yeah, you know. I do want to continue though. Uh, you know, I'm gonna continue making videos now because I do find. I find a sense of happiness and I find a sense of purpose in making videos, uh, in doing this work. And uh, it's sort of like, it's, it's interesting because I think throughout my entire life before I, I was doing this YouTube, I would look at work as like, oh, that's something that makes me unhappy. Or I would, I would look at work as like, I would look at work as like, oh, that's something that I don't look forward to, or that's not going to be like a reprieve, you know? But since I've been doing this, I really enjoy doing this. So it's weird because now that I'm back doing this, even just a little bit right now, it's like, oh, I feel a little bit better. But when I'm like really sad and depressed, it's like maybe I could have gone to jobs that I hated, but I couldn't do this. You know, it's, it, is that, I don't know if that makes any sense, but because this makes me happy, it was hard to do things that made me happy. So, a little bit of a down in the dumps feeling, but let's go, let's go do a little, little exploration We'll talk a little bit more and uh, yeah, some of the neighborhoods coming back. I don't know, maybe they'll come back from work. This is here in just an alley in the uh, Bambi 10 area. Those are the cock a doodle -doo and roosters. So yeah, physically I'm okay. Relationship wise, uh, we had a hiccup. Um, but we've recently decided to try, you know, try to make it work again. So, um, so we need something to drink though. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of you are concerned and worried and asking like, you know, hey, it's been several weeks. What's going on? Are you okay? I am okay. And I do appreciate you reaching out. And um, one thing I've done uh, during this time is I've done several video calls with people through the uh, Buy Me A Coffee app. And that's been great. That's been really fun. Uh, it's been fun to meet some people who want to to move out here to Vietnam and have questions or to travel out here to Vietnam and have questions. So that's been a, a little bit of a, you know, like silver lining or kind of like a, a bright spot through what was overall generally a pretty dark time in my life. Um, but yeah, this video, serves as an update give you a general sense of what was going on that i was down in the dumps but that i'm back i'm better i'm healthy physically i do i will have a video coming out about like the whole hospital process um it was tough Man, that was a tough sickness. Dengue fever is no joke. I don't wish that on anybody. <clears throat> There's like four types of dengue fever, I guess. So I got one type, obviously, because I got it once. Um, so I have lifetime immunity. Lifetime immunity for that type of dengue fever. But the other three types I could still get and be careful crossing the street here. The other three types I could still get. So,
the uh, dengue fever, four types. If you get another type of dengue fever, like your chances of recovering from it are really not so great or your body's gonna have a lot harder time recovering from it. But I do have lifetime immunity to one type and like three month immunity to the other three types right now. Koi, lay komo li chia tak. Chia tak. Okay. Yeah. Ít đường à? Yeah. Uh, I hope I said that right. I haven't spoken to any Vietnamese in like weeks. I've just been holed up. I, I hole up. I'm like a hermit. You know? When I'm not out, I'm in. Hit doing it doing. Yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. It's crazy that that's a little bit of sugar here. Yeah. And then the sugary syrup. Đồ uống uh, yêu thích uh, cuối khổ là ừ. đồ uống gì à? Này mật ong đi. Ah, okay. I don't know what that is. I'm trying to ask what her favorite drink is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's good to be out though. You know, it's good to see the hood. Sights and sounds of Saigon, the sights, the sounds, the scents, to get a sense. See what I did there? Sense with an SC, USC. Uh, sense, sense, with an SE, with an SC. Yeah, bound you go. Cô quá khen rồi Còn nói ít tinh nhiệt à Nói tinh nhiệt chút xíu à Cảm ơn nha Cảm ơn nhiều Ok bye bye Anh gặp lại Ok She's just She's just pulling my leg I don't speak Vietnamese that well Got my bag Bag of juice Mm, I should say bag of kumquat tea a little bit tart making me feel smart you know now that I said tart you know what I missed that they don't have here pop tarts strawberry flavor put those bad boys in the microwave for a little bit I don't want them like super toasted but I want them hot You know what I mean? Look at that. Straight up just synergy with me and the populace. It's good to be making a video again. I was down in the dump, so I'm feeling like, I don't know, there's something. Am I bipolar? Maybe I need to get that looked into. But there is something that just makes me instantly more happy when I'm doing this. And it's weird. It's weird that like, you know, okay. Go to the gym, kind of sucks, but I feel great afterwards. Don't want to do that when I'm depressed. Make videos. But yeah, it seems like sometimes I know the things that will make me happy 
I know the things that are gonna like improve my mood, but they seem very hard to do. But I think I need to be a little bit more consistent about just getting out and doing those things. Getting out and, yeah, making the videos, being consistent with that. If you see behind me, I'm intentionally filming my favorite bar here, owned by my friends. I have a pool match there tonight. So the pool matches are 16 points, total of 16 points. So like if you tie, it would be eight to eight. You're, one bar has a team. We have a team, our bar, our team uh, is plays for the Raptors bar. And then uh, like another bar will have another team. So if you tie, it'll be eight to eight. Uh, if you if you win narrowly, it would be like nine to seven. Narrowly, like this narrow alley. If you win big, it would be like 13, three, 12 to four. Even 11, five, I would consider a decent margin victory. But put in the comments, I'm interested to hear, what do you guys think the score will be tonight? Uh, let me see who we're playing. Hold on. Also, let me show you this alley I'm walking down. Kerepe. Kind of kerepe. Hello. Jacko. <laughs> All right. Go whack and roll, run, you are run. Bentunga. Okay. It's like the the three things I know how to say. You're overpraising me. What is that? Oh. Oh. Where am I? <laughs> so many of my videos are like, where did I, where did I end up? <coughs> Make some fun. Um, look at this, like I found like a massage parlor here. Anyways, we're playing a place called Riv Pick. I've never heard of that bar. Anyways, put in the comments, what do you think the final score will be? Are we going to win? Are we gonna lose with the final score? You can just call the other place RP Bar. That makes more sense. Riv pick, I don't know. 8.2 on the dank rank here. By the way, if you're enjoying my, this video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel because it really does help out my channel and I really do appreciate it. Let's continue on this little impromptu alley adventure. Alley exploration. Whoa, hot holes. Is this a restaurant? Hello. Hi. Chow me my butt. Kitchen, hey, kebabi, kebabi. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, you need to, the restaurant is... Uh... Oh no, I'm just, just walking, just uh, looking. Okay. Yeah, thank you. There's no way in there. Yeah, oh, I'll see what it is. Okay. I love, I love your food though. The well, food, food, food. I eat it all the time. Okay. Really good. Yeah, thank you. That's really, I've never seen the kitchen though. That's, re that's great. That's the chicken there. Hello. Ciao, ciao. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that, this place called a. I call it kebabi. Some place called kebabi. It's really good Mediterranean food. Let me see here, though. There's something over there. I'm gonna go see what it is. That's crazy. I found the back of kebabi. I'll show you the front of it. We'll go out. Yeah, it's kind of like 
getting real intrepid here. What have I found here? Oh, a little welding. Yeah, there's nothing else back here. That's it. I mean, if you really want to go deep, there could be snakes here. I'll be a little bit careful. What's in that? Some sort of sign making cartel operation. Okay. Let's go back. <coughs> Dang, that kebabi smelled good. Some people call it kebabi. I like to call it kebabi. Ciao, Ann. At least he's got his safety goggles on. I see a lot of people welding here without safety goggles. Just kind of nuts. I like the moss. Faces. You can see the. Uh, maybe you saw the flashes. Tight for a person of my stature. How, can I ask you a question? How many people order food every day here? Like a. Um. About 50 to 100 orders. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, one of those is me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, you order on Grab or you eat here? On Grab, usually, but I live right there. Ah. Yeah, but I usually use Grab. Sometimes I order through the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I really like it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice girl. I'll show you the front of the baby. <clears throat> That's a lot of orders, 50 to 100. Figure, honestly, like $10 an order. Ten times a hundred is what? A thousand? Good math. Damn, I'm good at math. Here's the front of baby. Hello. I just was walking around the back alleys and I found the back. I was in the kitchen. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I better go out to the front. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Sexy? American? Uh, I'm American, yeah. How about you? English. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. So, if oh. you don't understand me, just tell me to repeat yourself. I understand you perfectly, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. You Normally, people. Look at me, as if I'm crazy. Oh, really? Every time I think of America, they will go, we don't understand you. We don't understand you. I think I've been here long enough and I've hung out with enough English people where I'm starting to get, feel a little used to it. it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to continue on my journey. Well, don't blame you, man. Yeah, Good you too. Well, yeah, 
hotel. This is what I was seeing from back there. Yeah, I was over here. Legato. <coughs> Hello. The sign making cartel. There's that guy doing the welding. Maker's Mark, huh? I have special memories about that drink. Shout out to Cyrus. Shout out to Mike Strauss. You know who you are. All right. I want to wrap this up. I want to wrap this up like they wrap the kebabs and kebaby. I'm the only one I know who calls it kebaby, but I love the name. I mean, if you look at the, there it is. That's how you spell it. What would you call that? Would it be, would it be kebabby? Would it be kebaby? Uh, I'm thinking kebaby. You guys have a match tonight? Ah, uh, okay. Have fun. So, like, yeah. The, uh, <clears throat> all the bars around here, like, that's graphical. Uh, bar I play for, rafters. A lot of the bars, the ones that lease have pool tables <coughs> that are suitable for competition, they have pool teams. So hopefully we do well tonight, we'll see. We shall see. There's a lot of people here. Uh, they were uh, filming something here last night. Maybe that's the film crew. No. It's for uh, New York style pizza. This just opened. I'm going to check that out. Let's see what's up with that. This is a new restaurant? Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. Brand new, huh? Yeah, we're doing uh, New York style slices. Sweet. Uh, wings. Oh, cool. Yeah, man. All right. Well, I live very close to here, so I'll, I'll come check it out yeah, sometime. Out. So our soft opening is uh, Saturday. Oh, okay. From 4 p.m. till uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Awesome. All right. Late night thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that sounds good. And are you guys gonna do any of like the delivery type stuff or? Uh, not yet, man. Not Probably yet. Like another two weeks out from that. Okay. So, like, when we grand open, we'll have our uh, you know ordering system sure. set up. Sure. But for cool. now, we're just doing in-house uh, dining only. All right. Sounds good. I'll come check it out this weekend. Yeah, what's your name? My name's Tyler. Tyler Andrew. Nice to meet you, Andrew. Are you from LA? Uh, I'm from California. Yeah. Where at? Uh, OC. Okay. North OC. Okay. I'm from Redondo Beach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Another OC. Or another LA guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, bro. See you later. Bye, man. Take care. You too. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, East Pearl. Come check out their pizza. Um, all right. It's always fitting to end in an alley. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked that video. Uh, I know it started out a little bit somber. Um, <coughs> or solemn. Somber, solemn. I always mix those two words up. I think somber. But it took more of a uh, whimsical turn. And I think that definitely improved the mood. This little spiral staircase. That's cool. But yeah, I hope you liked that vlog. If you did like the vlog, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, support the growth, and leave any comments you have. I'm really happy to hear from y'all. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. Oh.